Hey everybody, my name is Blake. I'm here with Golden Valley's Home Wrecked program. It is October, so we're making some spooky snacks for all you and your friends. So we've got a lot of ingredients here. We've got gummy worms, we've got marshmallows, we've got licorice, we've got sweet tar ropes, we've got mandarin oranges, we've got fruit wedges, cheese puffs, you name it, we got it. Um, we're going to make a couple of things today, but the first thing we're going to do, jack-o'-lantern cheese puffs. Here we go. So, what you need, clear plastic bag like so. I have pre-filled this with cheese puffs, just so I don't get a bunch of cheese all over my finger in the video. And then what you need to do is take one of your fruit wedges, and you need to get that all the way down here to the end. It's a little bit difficult, I'm not going to lie to you. But, it looks good so it's worth it. There we go. And then I suggest filling in cheese puffs behind it so it doesn't get out of place. That always helps make sure it stays there. Good, you got that. Now, we move on to the eyes. And what you do for that, you can use licorice, you can use sweet tart ropes, we'll use both for today. You need to use a quarter length of whatever you're using. So, you got a half right there, and then use a quarter of that. That's about the length you want for anything you are using for this demonstration. So if we're using a sweet tart rope, you can just use that to measure, put that up right next to it, cut that, and we're good to go. Now, you want to put this in the flat side, and you want to make sure that it gets actually in there. If it does not get in there, it will pop out, and we don't want that because nobody wants their eyeball to pop out. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bad joke. So, there's one, and I'm just going to use the sweet tart rope for demonstration on the second one. You just stick it in there the same way, make sure it gets all the way in and stays in just like that. Now the same thing you did with the wedge, you just have to work it up in the front here and make sure that your pupil is forward just like that and then you just need to close it off up top here and because it is October we use twine to tie this up. I can't tie it. There we go. This is hard for one person, so you may want to use two. <laughs> and there you go. Now you're all tied up and ready to go. Our last item on the docket today, we've got creepy ice cubes. So you need three items for this. You need an ice cube tray, you need some gummy worms, and a pitcher of water. And now this is pretty straightforward. You want to fill your ice cube tray, each one, about three-fourths. That might have been a little much, but that's okay. Did that one already? Once you've got that done, you take your gummy worms, stick them in there, and then make sure part of it is hanging out of the side. So you want half of it to be frozen in there and the other half to be sticking out. That's key to this. There you go, we're all good to go. You can take it from here and put it in the freezer. So here we have it, our final product. This is our frozen spooky ice cubes. They work with any drink. I've got my iced tea right here. They work with soda, anything like that. You can just take them out and plop them right in and you are good to go. Thanks for watching this video. Once again, my name has been Blake. I hope you enjoyed watching how to make all these spooky snacks here and I hope you would have a ton of fun with your friends doing it. Uh, once again, this has been Homewrecked.